Hey, what's going on, everyone? My name is Matt Jarbo. This is Three Buck Theater, and apparently there's been some Star Wars Episode Nine leaks. Uh, most importantly, a new poster that uh, it, this is like a, a concept poster that's going to give us a good idea, I guess, of what to expect for Star Wars Episode Nine. This is it right here. Uh, we first we see uh, Ray holding her uh, her light. It looks like a new lightsaber. Uh, ultimately, uh, we see Chewie. We see what appears to be Lando's daughter over here next to Chewie. We've got some other weird, I don't know what the hell this guy is with the gills, uh, next to Finn with some longer hair, therefore indicating a, a time jump. Uh, we see C-3PO rocking the bowcaster. That's pretty cool. I mean, that literally, like, that's actually... Look, if 3PO finally, after 40 years, gets some solid action, you know what I mean? I think that's a good way to go out. Give 3PO the chance to straight up kick some serious ass. I, I don't think I'm alone in thinking that. Uh, we've got uh, Poe, and we got some new masked character over here, as well as BB-8 and another droid right to his side. Uh, and it does look like uh, Chewbacca is rocking a different weapon, although that could also be a bowcaster, and then they just reuse the same bowcaster for C-3PO. So just looking at the light side, the light side of this particular poster, we get to see that there's a fair amount going on there. Uh, I'm sure that, the, that they're going to explain a whole lot more as we get into the trailer, we get into celebration in a couple days. There's going to be a whole, a whole lot of Star Wars news. But then let's take a look here at the bottom part of the poster, which shows Kylo Ren uh, once again wearing the mask. We can see that it is, in fact, repaired from where he broke it. Uh, we can see the Knights of Ren to his right, which uh, look like they're varied in age, like they are, in fact, uh, younger. The two right there, one of them uh, wielding that blade, looks like he's probably going to end up being a teenager. And the thing is, we don't know. We don't know how many years it was in between Luke attempting to assassinate his nephew, Kylo reacting, burning down the Jedi Temple, uh, and then taking the students with him to be the Knights of Ren. We don't know because remember, Luke's hair was a lot shorter, so obviously a couple years, but the way Luke's hair was a lot browner and then it being grayer as we got uh, we got to see him in The Last Jedi it's, it's, I don't know. I, I, I don't quite know uh, how many years it is there. So how young were these younglings that uh, Kylo Ren brainwashed and perhaps uh, gaslit excessively? Uh, we see a few more uh, First Order troopers here. And then now we have the red First Order troopers, which, you know, like the Red Guard. I wonder if these are going to be more uh, elite characters are these going to be the more elite first order troops that are going to be trained uh, in a lot more hardcore uh, combat that are going to be used as like maybe the special forces that are going to go in and hunt down the um uh the whatever's left of the resistance now if you watch star wars resistance you've seen the red storm uh, first order trooper make an appearance i've seen it in the advertising so they're clearly going to be tying in a little bit to what's going on over there with star wars uh, the uh, the resistance TV show, but not only that, we got this uh, we got this character breakdown here. This latest leaked episode nine images show Lando and other new characters. We get to see old school Billy D still rocking the cape, still rocking the yellow shirt. I mean, look, it looks good. It looks good. It looks good on Billy. It looks good on Donald Glover. He rocked it out pretty well. But here we got a cane because you know he's in his eighties, so that makes a lot of sense. Uh, we see Lando here. We got this uh, a little bit blown up image of Lando, Ray in her new looking outfit, um, which is a lot more on the light side. If you if you recall, uh, in episode seven and episode eight, she was wearing more kind of beige neutral colors. Here she's rocking outright white, which also somewhat reminds me a little bit of um, uh, Amidala's outfit in episode two. Uh, when, when she went with Anakin to Geonosis. So that's a little, I, I'm wondering if that is going to play into it again, again, somewhat bringing in the idea that JJ Abrams is going to wrap it all together and, uh, and, and make it out to being this, uh, this big thing. Uh, we also see here, uh, Finn, uh, again, rocking that little sidearm he's got. His hair is a little bit longer. Uh, and we know that there's going to be a time jump between episode eight and episode nine, which is going to be good because it gives uh, a lot of the time to be able to, uh, to to happen here. A lot of the things being able to happen. Now, down here, we get to see Poe. 
um, and looking more like uh, Nathan Drake from the Uncharted franchise versus anything else. No, really, what's up with that scarf he's got on? Uh, next to him is Zori, who I'm assuming is an alien, an alien race of some kind. Um, although maybe not because, uh, she's not wearing gloves unless she might be of, of African uh, descent. And then we also got Jaina here, which is supposedly going to be Lando Calrissian's daughter, which we had already kind of assumed that that was going to be the case anyway, right? This is Naomi, uh, um, Aki's character. And we had already kind of assumed that that was who she was going to be. It just seemed to make a lot of sense to introduce Lando's daughter, uh, up against, um, Han's son. Makes me wonder if there's going to be any any uh, conversation between the two of them uh, from maybe when they were kids and playing together, because I'm pretty sure that they did. That is, and this is just me making an assumption based upon Lando's life. At the time, he didn't quite know that he had a daughter, which is probably fairly accurate, considering that he's pansexual and had sex with a lot of things. Who knows what stuck? You know what I mean? It's uh, remember that scene in Star Trek uh, Undiscovered Country when Kirk kicks that dude in the exposed knee and says, man, I'm really glad uh, that dude's got bad knees. And the guy says, not everyone's genitals are located in the same place. I'm just saying Lando's into some freaky deaky stuff. But those are what we see right now. And I got to say, look, I got to say, I really, uh, really, really, really like this, this, this poster here. I do. I like this poster quite a bit. I think it looks pretty cool. I want to see uh, the full thing in full res. And uh, this is probably something they're going to be giving away at Celebration in the next week and a half when it starts up. Um, and I might have to actually buy a copy of it off of eBay because it does look pretty dope. It, it, look, it's the thing. R regardless of Episode 9 or Episode 8 and its follies, I have hype for Episode 9. And here's the thing. Did you notice? There's no, there's no Rose Tico on the poster. There is no Rose Tico on the poster. Where is Rose? Ask no one ever. So that's probably for the best to really limit Rose Tico uh, into, into, into being a supporting character or to not being in the movie much at all. Now, I know her IMDb lists that she is in episode nine, but there's been like nothing from her in regards to it. There's been no promotional shots of her. There's been no one talking about her being in the movie. So I do kind of really wonder whether or not she's actually in it at all but i want to know your thoughts about this does it look good does it look bad let me know hit the thumbs up subscribe i'll talk to you guys later have a good one and peace out